it's so great to see you all, um, channel mammals and guests. Um, guests meaning strangers that I've never spoken to before. I'm going to read the weekly Bible lesson, just one little section, section six, and the introduction to, uh, today. So I'm a couple of days late <laughs> in doing it, but I thought we could lower this. Um, I don't know if I can do it by myself. Oh, do you hear me? <laughs> I'm I'm lowering this table. Wait, maybe I could just turn you around so you can see. Just a second. There. We're partially down. Bringing the table down. It's usually a two-man job, but I can do it by running back and forth. Here. to sit and talk, isn't it? <laughs> okay, just a second. Just has to get unwound a little bit here. Okay, so, and so, a little bit more on this side. I think that's about it. Okay, now we have a table, and in a second, we'll be sitting at it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Maybe I'll, I'll make you come to what, well, I can, let's see. I'll, I'll climb on, I'll climb in and then I'll move you closer. Okay, here we go. Have a seat, all you thousands of folks. <laughs> so you'll have a, a front seat to listen to these little bits of the Bible lesson. Here we are. This is up in the bow of Yankee, and this table is resting on the anchor hoist, and um, which you saw before. You saw that big piece of equipment before. And so here we are. I, I just printed out um, from the Bible uh, the, the golden text of the lesson on matter. It's from Proverbs. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? And then the introduction is from Ecclesiastes and from John. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, said the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. I made me great works, I builded me houses, I planted me vineyards, I made me gardens and orchards, and I planted trees in them, all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water, to water therein the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got, the ser I got me servants and maidens, and had servants born in my house, also I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasures of kings and of provinces. I got me man singers and woman singers and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments and that of all sorts. And whatsoever mine eyes desired I kept not from them. I beheld not my heart, I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Would you like to move in a little closer? Here we go. I think I can reach there. just for a change. So the king um, is telling about all these great possessions and powers of a rich man. So then the plot thickens. I'll just read this last sentence again. 
I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasures of kings and of the provinces. I get me men singers and women singers and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments and that of all sorts. And whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy for my heart rejoiced in all my labor. And this was my portion for all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. God giveth to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and knowledge and joy. And from John in the introduction, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. And then I said, I'll just read just a little bit of the last section, section six. In Ecclesiastes again, in the Bible, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And in 1 Thessalonians, it says, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, quench not the spirit, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And then in Signs and Health with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy, it says, For right reasoning, there should be but one fact before the thought, namely, spiritual existence. Being is holiness, harmony, immortality. When we come to have more faith in the truth of being than we have in error, more faith in spirit than in matter, more faith in living than in dying, more faith in God than in man, then no material suppositions can prevent us from healing the sick and destroying error. This text in the book of Ecclesiastes conveys the Christian science thought, especially when the word duty is not in uh, which is not in the original is admitted is omitted let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of men in other words let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter Love God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole of man in his image and likeness. Amen. So if you'd like to read between the lines, between the introduction and the last summation in the last section, you can just go into the description and click on matter, the subject of this week's lesson, and you can read all the stories and the wonderful inspirations uh, that come in this in this week. So I hope you enjoy it further. It's so great to see you. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.